Hi, CMCSS families. This is Millard House, Director of Schools. As you all know, this is definitely not the school year that we anticipated. We've had peaks and valleys over the course of the last few months. But even with that, I'm extremely proud of the hard work and commitment that I've seen throughout the school system, from our operations department to human resources to the school building. I've watched us band together as a school system and do some special things in a very difficult time. I've had the opportunity to watch our nurses move forward with a call of action to support the health and safety of our employees and families. I've also watched our operations department uh, move forward and feed nearly a half a million meals over the course of a short period of time. I've also had the opportunity to watch our instruction department move forward in very short order to provide the necessary learning resources online, which is unlike anything that we've ever seen, in, not only in CMCSS, but in the United States as a whole. Nevertheless, with all of these challenges, there have been major celebrations, and I'm excited to share some of those celebrations. Things like our 10 reward schools in CMCSS, making up the top 5% in the state. Rossview High School, Clarksville High School, Montgomery Central High School, and Northwest High School honored as best high schools in US News and World Report's 2020 best high school rankings. We earned the National Weather Service Storm Ready Distinction. The district successfully implemented the Opportunity Culture Model in five elementary schools, welcoming 40 early learning teacher residents as a part of an innovative partnership with APSU. We deepened our ELA focus by implementing literacy learning walks in our middle schools, accompanied by ongoing professional learning to refine our literacy practices in middle grades. We intensified our focus on student attendance by sharing the importance of daily attendance and supported this focus with ongoing courses for students and parents to address the root causes of truancy. We hosted our first textbook caravan in a number of years involving 35 committee members across all grade levels to provide guidance and support for an unprecedented adoption of materials and resources to support literacy instruction. We implemented AVID, which is Advanced Via Individual Determination at two high schools and two middle schools to close the achievement gap and prepare students for college and career success. St. Bethlehem was recognized for their use of improvement science in tackling early literacy initiatives and were chosen to be featured in a learning series produced by the state in order for other districts to learn from our practice. Most recently, Kenwood High School received the state's STEM school designation for 2020. And at the start of the 1920 school year, West Creek High School kicked off the Academy of Teaching and Learning. And these are just a few of the incredible accomplishments that the pandemic cannot overshadow. As we plan our reopening for the 2021 school year, there are several different things that we need to strategically focus our efforts on. The most important part of our strategic planning really has to do with the health and safety of not only our students, our employees, but also our families throughout Montgomery County. All of our decisions will be based on data and guidance from not only our local, but also our state and national partners around health and safety. One thing COVID-19 has taught us is that we really have to think about education in a much different way. We know that in-person opportunities to provide education for our students, we definitely wanna continue. But we also know that virtual opportunities as well as a hybrid approach will have to be focused on as well. As we think about technology, equity will be essential in everything that we do and every decision that we make. There are students that live far and near throughout the 540 square miles of Montgomery County. We want to make certain that they have everything they need from a technological standpoint to ensure that they're college and career ready. Although technology will be essential in everything that we do moving forward, there is nothing that can replace a highly qualified in-person teacher. So everything that we will do moving forward will involve direct instruction uh, to ensure that our students are engaged at a high level. The district is committed to provide the necessary professional learning to each one of our employees to ensure that we are prepared for every stage of the continuum moving forward. Communication has been and will continue to be key. We know that community members, students, staff will continue to have questions. Please know that our goal is to provide you with timely and transparent updates as we continue to navigate the waters of our strategic planning. Our number one priority is the health and safety of our students and employees. 
Regardless of the method of educational delivery, we will provide a quality education for all students.